Yo, yo, yo. Man, what's up, kid? What's up, Purple, man? Hey man, thing, say bro. man, you know what I'm talking about? You you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta set a mood for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Say something in the mic right oh, quick, I'm young saying. James Boogie. Mic check 17, 25, 18. Yeah, we should be blase, blase. We should be good. You know what I'm talking about? We we got a we yeah, got my, a special good today. We got a special guest in the building. Special somebody, guest. Somebody, somebody don't like Drake. I see that, man. He is a um, returning guest. To the oh. 16 Shots podcast with Young James Boogie. Young James Boogie, you are crazy. Hey, y'all, dog. I'm going to tell you what I meant. Mm -hmm. how, how you doing today, uh, Young James Boogie, man? I, I want to hop into this this, this 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 statement you got on the thing, man. That's, that's really some hateration right there, man. But I, I want to know why somebody would say something so so disparaging about another, about a, uh, 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 an artist. Well, let me tell you, sir. He's, he's going to give us his his humble opinion uh mm -hmm. about that you know um also you know give you some backstory you know me and you mm -hmm. we are fans of one joseph anthony button I'm a fan and of um yeah. yeah yeah i don't know if this young man is a fan of one joseph anthony button you know what i'm saying i'm i'm an objective fan though you know what i mean like <clears throat> there might be points when you know i might lean on my fandom more than my logic but most of the time i'm an objective fan like you know as opposed to just like i like that dude whoever he is pause you know what i'm saying i just like him i just i just like him and he can do no wrong i'm like no you know there are times when you have to question what somebody says and like you know i'm not i'm not uh, a christian out here you know just like i don't care what happened man i don't care you're right i'm assuming we're having some technical issues right yeah man we can get started man so so uh you you survived the 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 tornadoes of H time, baby. Tornadoes hit H time. You survived it though, I see. Unscathed. Yeah, I know. I, I, it was it was a rain to me. I know that it was different in different places of town, but it was a regular rain to me. Bro. It's crazy how 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 big Houston is and, and like the nonsense that goes on on one side and then another side is like perfectly fine. I was driving down the street and thought I was gonna die. Thought I was gonna get swept up in a tornado. You know what I'm saying? My little truck was just getting pushed around a little punk ass street. It was a little rough, bro. Trees falling out in front of me. Well, you know, everybody made it back, so. Yeah. I want to talk about how sorry Rudy Gobert is, man. And I don't mean it like he's not a good player, because he's definitely a decent player, but Rudy Gobert is why AAU basketball sucks, man. He is the 100% example. Rudy Gobert, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard. Whoa, are the example. whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Did you, did you, did you say both Supermans? Both of them are shining gleaming examples of why aau basketball sucks all right give me some insight because i'm not I, don't, I i would have to defer to you i'm not i don't know too much about aau basketball so why, well, why I mean, same in football same in baseball is they specialize and with you if the coach if the coach i want this to be play, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it slow because i want i want i want it to be able to time stamp and come back to this point and play it again if the coach cares about winning first, All right. he's gonna he's gonna always sacrifice his players in ways that aren't the best for the players. If he cares about winning first, he's gonna always sacrifice his players in some way because winning is the most paramount thing. So if winning is important, you can't mess up two times in a row. I'm not gonna give you that confidence. I'm not. I don't because I'm I'm worried. About, I'm not. I'm focusing on winning. If winning is if winning is the most important thing then I don't care if this guy can't shoot free throws. I'm not going to tell him, nah, man, you got to shoot 200 free throws. Everybody else shooting 100, you shooting 250 until you catch up to everybody else with a free throw shooting, right? Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard, like, there's no way that you get to that age, 18, 19, 20, and you can't hit a free throw, man. That's cause they, because whoever had you growing up, they put you in situations where winning was the most important thing. So your development as a player wasn't as important. Your totality of development, not just, oh, yeah, you bigger than everybody. So, you know, dunky, dunky, dunky. No, what about your free throw? What about your jump shot, man? What about your handles? You don't need handles. You big. You don't need handles. No, you need the whole thing, man. You need, you need everything. Development, man. Rudy, Rudy Gobert can't shoot free throws? I, I haven't watched too much no. Rudy Gobert, bro. Rudy Gobert is offensively challenged, man. Like, he's it's really uncoordinated, really. And it really starts with, like I said, like, you seven foot tall, bro. Like, if you had some coordination, bro, you would be you would be awesome. I mean, I can go down the line. It's a bunch of them, you know. Uh, Kim made Mutombo, but he got an excuse. He started like, you know, like we see what happens when you get a big guy coordinated. You see what happens. You get a coordinated big guy. You get Joel Embiid. You get Akeem Olajuwon. You get Chris Webber. Like, if you get a, you get uh, Kevin Garnett, you get a guy that's coordinated at that size. 
you have a whole different beast to deal with, right? And it's, it, you know, people rely more on, they rely more on the natural talent of somebody as opposed to, look, we finna develop you for these next 12 years, not just to win games, not just to get these shoe deals for our club teams or whatever, we're going to develop you. Quarterbacks the same way. Pitchers are the same way. You know, hitters are the same way. Like, there's no reason why Manny, Manny Rodriguez, I mean, Manny Ramirez is such a horrible outfielder, bro. That's, that's because he has a gift to hit the ball. Manny, Manny Ramirez could have been Ken Griffey Jr. We've seen examples of what happens when, when development is made. When you have supreme talent and supreme development, you get your um, Ichiro's. You get your Ken Griffey Juniors. But then when you have supreme talent, it just plays off talent their whole career. But what about like no like it. when you when you bring up some of these hitters? What about the ones who pretty much like that's their expertise is hitting? And I know baseball is kind of weird because one league had DHs, the other league didn't. So you can make a a a a living being a DH, and you don't have to you know play any fielding. You know what I'm saying? So now like no, pitchers, but, I mean, pitchers normally don't really they're not really good batters. When you see those pitchers who also hit practice home on. runs, yeah, because they're too busy throwing five different. Pitches, you know what I'm saying? But what you mean? How how you how? That's like that's like saying I get pussy, but I don't I don't eat pussy. I just get pussy my whole life, and I I feel like I'm a complete fucker because I can fuck the shit out of it. But like, if you want to be great, if you want to be complete, you it's not all it is is hours. All it is is putting in the hours. Like I'm I'm not saying be a home run. I'm just saying like for the longest they couldn't hit it. They pitchers couldn't hit it at all because they didn't they need they had DH. It's like, nah, it's time to pitch it. We're going to put a DH in there every, every, every time in, in the is that American League, I think. I would have to ask our guest about that because he's the baseball guy. I just always thought, you know, your pitcher is almost like your quarterback. Because that's if that's the case, you could say, well, shit, your quarterback could also play running back, wide receiver, linebacker, or whatever. But when you have that much money tied up into that player who is that pivotal, who can be that important to you for the game, like – yeah, I would rather Roger Clemens be able to have three different pitches and strike out the whole line opposed to being able to, you know, throw good pitches but also hit bad at three, 300. You know what I'm saying? I, I, th I think your equation is kind of off. I don't I know. say that because we can ask the baseball expert, why the fuck you look so young, bro? Oh, you see I touched up my face? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 the, it's the lack of facial hair, man. You see, I, I touched up my face. I don't know if y'all can notice this. I'm not sure how my mic sounds right now. Let me turn this down. Oh, you, you 100. Yeah, you 100, bro. But, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, I do look clean. Uh, I do look fresh. I heard y'all talking about baseball, so I just wanted to correct some things. Yeah, please do, because uh, I'm not a baseball okay. guy. I didn't hear shit y'all said, but I just knew it was wrong. So no, no, no. What I said, I what I said wanna... was, I, 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 I got baseball in my blood too. I'm, I'm all the sports. So what I'm saying is. What he was saying is uh, because a player has so much money tied up into him that we don't care if he can't hit. That's not what I said. Pitcher. That's not or, what I, I mean, what would what, you say? What would you say then so you can make it make sense? I was saying that. What um, are we talking about right now? We're going, what are you talking about in general? Yeah, just, just yeah. Get, give him the synopsis, bro, because you you, what, you 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 had your thing you were talking about when it I came said to was, AAU players. Yeah, AAU ball. Well, I said I said Rudy Gobert, uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwight Howard. These are examples of how AAU ball is hurting has, has all it will hurt not always, but it hurts the development of players because the coaches don't care about player development; they care about winning. So instead of developing players, they just get players that can that, that can that can they get uh, specialized players, or they just get the, the greatest athletic talent. And it's gonna go the same for baseball, go the same for football, go the same for all, because there's no reason why the pitcher shouldn't be able to hit. That's a purposeful thing. They 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 don't take a uh, uh, batting practice as long as other people do and it's and it's not because they can't hit we've seen you can have pitchers that can hit ty Cobb was a hitter babe ruth was a hitter right you can say that it was different times but, but who was that uh your boy just got paid fifty thousand million dollars from japan like specializing in doing one if you play in a sport whatever sport it is and you can only do one thing in the sport and it's purposeful that's not good for the game if i'm a pitcher i should be able to hit the ball i'm not saying be um can grip junior but i'm saying you shouldn't be Oh, uh, he's a a, a a 0.4 or 5. Like, come on, man. You, you you can be a 200, a 250 hitter as a pitcher. The thing the thing with that, too, like, yeah, you're you're saying that, but also pitching. I mean, even go back to, like, high school. And I don't know, like, if, if y'all played, you know, what teams y'all yeah. played and everything like that. Uh, yeah. But once you get to college, too, it's it's kind of the same thing. But, like, I, I Katie was in our – not technically in our district, but they were mm -hmm. the number one baseball team while I was in high school. And mm – -hmm. 
I pitched, I played third, I played second, I played short. I did everything that was out there. But also, too, I went to a school where nobody just pitched. Like, no one was that good to where you could specialize them to just pitch. Yeah, but yeah. With, what it takes to pitch at even the college level and beyond that, like Otani, that's what – I mean, honestly, you should see this not as pitchers should be doing more. You should see Otani is special because of the fact he's able to excel at both, which – They've had guys, a lot of these guys used to pitch. A lot of these guys could pitch and could hit, but can they do that? Can they do both? I mean, you got to think you're, that's, it's already hard to get to the league in one thing. Now you're asking, hey, you should be able to be as good as not only pitchers, but you should be able to hit 250, 300. You should be able to excel at hitting. But as a pitcher, like you're, I I would say you're, you're kind of, it's limited. It's probably, it's less, it's less hot, like the probable for you to actually be that good to do both at that level. And the fact of time, I wouldn't say be good different. And I wouldn't even say, I would also also argue that Ty Cobb and Babe Ruth, if they played at their skill set right now, they wouldn't yeah. be in the MLB. They wouldn't be able what? to play college ball. Honestly, I won't go as far. How, as that makes sense. That, that, how how would so you telling me you telling me that how could you argue with what already happened? How could you how could you conceptualize something that already happened? Like you're saying that if they played today, of course, because that was a hundred years ago. Yeah, duh. The people this year and and a hundred years they've seen what they've done and had technique. But what I'm saying, we've seen that they, we've already seen what they've done. We can't take away what they've done and say, oh, if you put them, yeah, if you put a caveman in today's world, he would, he would, because it's things have changed. But we already have concrete evidence to see that, yeah, these guys were special athletes for their time. Their skill set, of course, wouldn't translate to now because they, they we've seen what they've done. They built on, you know, we built the, it's evolved. But what I'm saying is, you don't have to be a great hitter. But you should be able to be a competent hitter. If you play baseball and can't hit the ball, then you're not a baseball player. You're a pitcher. And, 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 pitching, it's, and, it's and like in we, baseball, man, I, I think that's also – and also, I mean, I, uh, there's a lot of traditional shit that comes with it too. But again, like how even in the NBA, like why is – I mean, you got Luka Doncic. Like when mm-hmm. you're looking at him, he's an offensive really only player. Should yeah. he be playing better defense? Shouldn't he be all he defense? Should. Now apply that to every single not, not, not all defense. Not not but all now, defense. Kobe not all was defense. A great but some player, but would yeah. you put him and when he tried, I guess, but would you put him all defensive all time? He's I, I'm, well, see the metric of saying all time or saying I'm not saying they have to be the best defender or the best hitter. I'm saying that to be a competent hitter. Like the pitchers, like literally they like either they they either button. Well, now it's changing. It's going back to how you said now they're hitting and to your, to your point, in high school, now they're not hitting pitchers, at all. Pitchers aren't even getting to the plate now. In in high school, pitchers hit like everybody else, right? Of course, the Depending talent was less. School, man, I, yeah, I tell you, I'm like specializing less, yeah. it. Like you got it. Like especially, you look at bigger high schools or good high school. Katie, Katie Taylor, they had guys. They had 40 guys on their roster varsity, yeah. and they had people that pitch that just pitch. And these kids are juniors, you know, seniors throwing 95 plus, and that's why they're just pitching because they've already seen it. Like, hey, this kid. The way his skill set is, you know, he can hit at the high school level, but is that going to translate yeah. to college? Is it going to translate to the MLB? Who knows? But what will and what's got the best chance of doing that is what he's mm-hmm. able to do from the mound. And really pitching, like you should be able to hit. I mean, that's a that's a that could be a thing, but in all reality, pitching's limited. Like, look at the Astros. We started off horrible at the beginning of the season. Mostly because yeah. of pitching. I mean, we didn't have much offensive performance, but on top of that, too, we're losing ten to one. But even then, even if we're you know we're putting run, you know runs on the board, you're still down ten. So now you've got to have great games every time because our pitching and especially our bullpen was horrible. Twenty twenty two when we won, guess what we yeah. had? We had the best had bullpen. Pitching, but in the, but in what the if and we had great starters? What if what if my pitcher is let's say he's one seventy five, right? My pitcher. Like I'm, I like I'm saying, some of that, what you, some with it, what they, what the the tradition says that the pitcher is like, okay, you specialize, all you do is pitch. Like, there's no metric you can say that says, well, I'm gonna take away, I'm a something that would add to points in the game. This is gonna add. This is gonna, this is run support. This is gonna help you out as a pitcher. You get a, a, a single or a double. That's helping you. That's helping the team. But instead of instead of having that skill, and it's not that I can't do it, it's that I don't. I, like you said, they literally don't practice on it. They don't. They're like, you know what? We're going to specialize you. And I understand it, but it, 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 
it it brings the game down. Same with basketball. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no reason why Shaq can't shoot free throws. It's the only reason he can't shoot free throws is because in his development stage, they weren't sitting here saying, hey, man, should work on this. They're like, it's okay. You got 28 points by this Duncan. So them, them, them 20 that you missed for free throw, them 15 you missed, don't worry about that. You still, because you're such a supreme athlete. We're seeing I, it. I'd still and, honestly argue basketball and baseball and even football, throw that in too. There's always yeah. going to be a difference because at the end of the day, how does a football game end? Mm -hmm. Like what's the end of it? Oh, a, a, uh, a team the, has the, more points and what points, happens? Yeah. yeah. So anything to get points, anything Time that gets ended. points. Well, hold on though. This is my, this is my point though, because NFL, I yeah. mean, football, basketball, there's time on the clock where there's two yeah. halves, four quarters, whatever it is. Offensively, yeah. I'm trying to score. But at the end of the day, if I mm -hmm. the time's gonna run out. So it kind of yeah. it kind of makes it where the offensive potential run supports you mentioned is more important because of the time that it's time sensitive. The reason why pitching yeah. matters more and why that defensive matters more is because of the fact that to end a game in baseball, to get out of an inning. You got to get a motherfucker yeah. out. And if you can't do that, then you can't do much. And if I want somebody coming in in the ninth inning to close out a game or a long reliever in the sixth or somebody, a middle reliever in the eighth, whatever it is, if I need somebody to come in and get out, I honestly don't give a fuck if he can hit a baseball because he's coming in to literally just close this game out. I need to get motherfuckers out. So mm -hmm. if you're yeah. over in the batting cage is hitting and you've got a four ERA, and you're giving up four, whatever the fuck it is. You're not, you're not, yeah. you know, Brad Ledge in his prime. Then that's a problem. And at that level, again, I did everything. And even you see kids in college, you don't even see this shit now. Where once they're in college, honestly, most of the most part, if they're pitching, they're just pitching. If they're if they're a position player, they're just a position player. And the only thing it's going to be harder. And the only reason Otani even had the chance to do this is because he came from Japan, and in that kind of style I mean, of play is different to, and they allowed him to he was a superstar there he came here and is also yeah. too when he came to the angels no one expected him to be able to pitch and hit he was there literally yeah. you're buying his bat so he goes to the angels oh shit he's got a 2.0 era and shit he's at this motherfucker can pitch he gets hurt he comes back even better so and then contract here now he's coming in the, the change is coming but like the Americans, coming. kids coming up, I, I, it's highly unlikely. They're going to even Dominicans, even like foreign players that they're coming up. Normally, they tell them, you pick one. We want your man. Bat. It was a time when, they, if you pitch. But when Kevin Durant came out of, out of college. All they said was, man, you're too tall to be shooting all the threes. He shoots too much. He's too tall. He's too tall. Now you look and that's all you have is seven foot. Like the, the, the game has to change. And like, a, I think it's going to change. I think it's changed. But look at the Drake, man. I want to talk to I want to talk some Drake talk, man. I, what's what's going your problem on with Drake? Drake, man? I don't know. I know he just did did uh he did a, a feature on Texas Red's new project, and he rapped over the BBL Drizzy. That was super hard, super hard. It was super hard. It wasn't super hard, it was, bro. It was it was not. Super oh, it wasn't hard. No, it wasn't super. hard. It was it was a nice song. I mean, Drake can rap, bro. So it's not a trash song, but no, nah, it wasn't super hard. It's not super hard, bro. What, what was wrong? Okay, what, what made it not super hard? Bro, it's just not super hard. It's not as hard as you make okay, it. That's, it's that, a good song. Cause that's your rap, opinion. I, I thought it was hard. I, I, I'm not saying it was the best song ever. I'm just saying that the even the idea to do that, that was innovative. That was super <laughs> innovative. Nobody nobody saw that coming. Nobody, nobody, saw, nobody, nobody thought, saw him getting on the BBL beat? Yeah. I don't think because because hmm. nobody said he's going to rap over there. He's going to rap over that. That, that. that wasn't a conversation speed, a, a conversation piece until it happened. But then... <sighs> I think also I'm not the one because I'm not going to look at Drake objectively. Uh, right now. <laughs> I'll be honest with you because I feel like he doubled down on some of the shit that he was called out for. And you're mm -hmm. still back on the songs talking about BBL Drizzy. If they need it, come and get me. You know what I'm saying? You need the money. Yeah. I got you. So, oh, okay. So, yeah. I mean, it kind of fits with what this nigga Kendrick was saying. And all I'm saying is. Kendrick got me feeling black and fucking black, and I don't like Drake, nigga. <laughs> I don't like Drake. I don't, you know what? I don't like Drake, think... and honestly, and honestly, honestly, I feel like after all that, like, Drake's not gonna notice you niggas, man. Like, he doesn't care that you support him, but Drake is, I don't know, man. I don't know, but I wanted to talk to you about Drake. This is why I did this. This is why I got BBL. Drake, see, okay. And, and Eric, you gotta stop changing your colors, because you're gonna change my face. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, my, 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 first off, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not against Kendrick. I don't think Kendrick is as dope as people make him out to be. 
I, I, we've had this conversation before, I think, but I, I always thought that he was like a tier or two below under 3000. I thought, I always thought he was like almost a ripoff of under 3000 to me from what the Henry's way he raps rip off the, of Andre 3000 from the way he raps from the cadences, from the using the, 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 the voice, the voice, the voice, um, edit like he does. Like I, I, to me, it screams out. I, I don't know if it's purposeful or not, but that's, I, that's what it reminds me of. But that's okay. You feel like you, you, that, that puts him tears below because you see the influence of Andre 3000 in his music. Or are you saying he's just no, no, no. ripping him? I'm saying, uh, to me, it puts him a tear. Like, I'm saying you can't be a greatest of anything or the best anything and you're the the the, the B version of something. Because I don't think Kendrick's better than Andre 3000. So, so you, feel you like can't Kendrick's be the not second. innovating anything. You feel like he's he's just copying things that he sees? No, 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 no. no. I'm not saying that. He, he's a talented artist. Okay. But I'm saying he's not... He's not, my opinion, he's not as innovative or as forward as people say, as people try to make him to be. What I'm saying is we've heard, I've seen this type of vibe from an artist before in Andre 3000 to the point where it sounds like, like even the cadences sound alike. So not saying it's not tight, it's, it's tight and it's it's hard, but I'm like, and, it, and it's, 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 it's insightful, it's meaningful, it's deep, but there's no way in the world they got this seventh best album of all time like ain't no way in the world ain't well, no way on. in the world man are, are we that's talking the about case, apple if, 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 yeah yeah if, but if that's I the mean, case how you, how you feel about the hill and, and actually, aaron you kind of got me i was like how do you how do you level that criticism against yeah. Kendrick and like anything about drake exactly because 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 drake is drake is a rapper motherfucker that's why well hold on well time out time okay out. but you're, you're, okay you said it he he i'm sorry and i don't want to no, go ahead on yeah you, but like yeah, i was kind of sitting here thinking about this too but that was your thing. It's like, you can't say he's seventh greatest album of all time. And even Kendrick, who says Eminem, Andre 3000 are his you know, biggest influences, even on the control yeah, yeah. verse where he's like Andre 3K, everybody else, yeah. shut the fuck up. Like we're in competition. He already <laughs> elevated. Yeah. I mean, obviously this is 11 years ago, but he already elevated yeah. him above that there. And, you know, yeah. 3K being one of my favorite rappers too, I see the similarities yeah. and I see the influence, but I I yeah. I got to defend him on that because I there's not and this is just going I mean I don't want to go back to Drake, but he's made I yeah. mean just Kendrick himself has taken so many different risks. Every one of his albums has kind of a different not structure so much, but is going through trying to actually tell a story and as a lyricist and as somebody that considers himself conscious like the fact that he's even in a conversation or mainstream at all uh, kind of speaks to his artistry. On top of that, the reason why everybody puts Andre 3000 at a higher level, and that's a guy coming out of a group because of the same thing. Andre 3000 took yeah. risk, and he would, I mean, honestly, he would elevate people on songs with him, but on top of that, his, his self. And I think, I don't know, man, I, I, I would like to hear your opinion on if you feel like Kendrick's being influenced by 3K is a knock on Kendrick, then how is Drake pretty much taking over different sounds? Because he, I mean, Drake has a sound. He goes to it every now and then on his albums. But for the most part, mm -hmm. he's trying out different things, but it's not trying out new things that, Hey, this is I'm gonna try this out because it's cool. No, I'm seeing this work from this other artist. Now let me throw it. Central C's throwing this so? up. Dave's doing that. Let me go and do this. You know, uh, what's that shit called? Um, the UK shit, UK drill. Or you yeah, got drill, him yeah. on trap beats. You know, you're going with YG to okay, Compton. Okay, and you know what I'm saying okay. like, I, and again, that's my problem. I mean, that's one thing Kendrick pointed out. But my problem is like Drake's a he's a pop. I mean, he he's pop. He's a performer. And for me, the fact that there's even a, a question on the providence of his rhymes, which as a rapper is what makes you like you're that's the talent, your ability to use your thoughts, use your experiences and translate that into a mm -hmm. song that whether it's catchy or not, that's people want to fucking listen to. And yeah. I feel like one of them does that. And the other doesn't. So that's why I'm, okay, I put, okay. I separate them like that. And I again, I think I, the Michael Jackson and Prince thing is actually a very good comparison. I'm glad they kind of leveled themselves that way because of the fact that I see them that way. But okay, okay, perfect. So was Michael Jackson a cold piece of work? Pause. He was a he was the the greatest performer there ever was. Okay, and so what I'm saying is Drake has shown that he he's the the greatest. He's one of the greatest hip hop performers artists i'm not 
they are artists that we've had in the last 20 years. Like if it wasn't Lil Wayne, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for like maybe four or five other artists, Drake would be hands down. It wouldn't be a question. But like you said, he's able to go do UK drill. He's able to go do um go sing with Rihanna. He's able to do down south trap music. He's able to, he's able to go back and forth with Bun B on his first album. Me, Bun B, and, and Wayne going back and forth, and it's, and it's seamless. That's a that's a talent and a skill in itself. How many guys came out with how how many guys were in Young Money in that first run, and how many guys made it after the after the initial pow? Yeah, Tyka hit boom, and 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 Gutta Gutta hit boom, and everybody hit one time. But what Drake and Nicki did, you it's undeniable. You can't deny that these guys have a, a imprint, have an ability to make music. An ability to create music. I'm, I, Drake, Drake is makes, the better song Drake maker makes good than music. That's okay, what I'm saying. Yeah, he charts on the, but I mean like hip hop and rap. Yeah. I, I just I I can't. I feel like you can't put Drake above Kendrick because oh what? he gets more hits because he gets more hits. He does more numbers because guess what he. That's not what I'm saying. Well, too. Well, what are you, what are you saying then? Because when okay, I'm when I, Kendrick when I'm saying influenced is, by three K. Drake can make and take sounds that he sees coming up so he can stay relevant and stay popular for pop music. I'm, I'm just but that, like, 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 okay. So, so when, when everything, everything we do, we can go back to baseball, basketball, football, music, all of that. It's monkey see, monkey do. I see them do it. Oh, they shooting threes. Now nah, I'm going to shoot three. Oh, they, they doing trap beats. I'm doing trap beats. Are they going to the, whatever it's, it's, they using the um the, the um auto tune. I mean, it's it's monks. So what I'm saying is he's taking styles that haven't hit. That like he he he's able to see styles and music genres. One because from where he's from, like Toronto, Canada, that's already a mix of of sounds to begin with. It's a strong reggae uh, uh, influence in in Toronto. It's a strong UK influence. It's a strong hip hop influence. It's, it's a strong lyrical influence. And like, you know, they, they go to New York and get some of that boom bap. Like it's so him being that chameleon that that city is displays through his music. I'm not saying that he's the best because he makes popular songs. I'm saying the songs he makes, he makes them popular. Not, they're not popular because he did. Oh, I'm copying um, so-and-so and I'm just riding the wave. It's like, no, nah, I took this way, this thing that was bubbling and I was able to 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 re reintroduce it in a way that's bigger and and pal more palatable, and I'm skilled as fuck. That's my skill. It's kind of like I mean, what you just described sound like stealing somebody's shit. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I see something bubbling. I'm bigger. When I do it, it's gonna blow up. There's a young man that died. His name, uh, well, you know, he had a song called "Look at Me." XXX Tentacion. Uh, and how's that yeah, song yeah, yeah, yeah. go? How's that song go? And I'm sorry, but that song blew yeah. up. Yeah. Drake wanted to get on it. Then all of a sudden, yeah. Drake's got another thing where literally that flow was taken. And I would love to hear what the Drake fan base feels about that. Because I don't go as far as saying this nigga killed him. Because that's stupid. Yeah, yeah. And I don't see Drake yeah. like if if at the end of the day, again, he is a fucking performer. And I, until someone yeah. shows me something different, but even when the best song I think he made when it comes to bars and rap, yeah. is everyone saying daylight made it I, it's hard for me to say this motherfucker's <laughs> great and more than just a performer and michael jackson great performer could dance like a motherfucker but he wasn't writing all them goddamn songs he was performing the shit out of them though prince yeah. but i'm saying but but that's, on the that's, instrument that's, that's doing that's, weird that's shit. kind of egotistical that's that that's that that's that hip-hop ego bravado type no, shit. Like, no it's not but see that's like how i told you last 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 week you know, I said you can be the better hit maker or song maker because Drake has the machine behind him, but he's not the better artist when you talk about Drake and Kendrick. He's not the better why artist. Does, okay, why does Drake have the machine behind him? I don't know why he has it, but you know Drake has the machine. Now, hold up, how do you not know why? I don't know why. What do you mean? Do I, how? What do you mean? How do I and know? Who listens, or who why? listens to this? Because I got an answer, but who listens to this? Everybody. <laughs> but I'm trying to say, like, like saying, I mean, he, why, he's a, why he's a biracial say... artist who sings and can connect with younger white audiences, and he's able he's to the watch the wave a little so, better. Because I can be honest with you, 
I'm literally I, I work with I work with a lot of white people, a lot of conservatives. Yeah. And you know yeah. kind of how the spin is. Oh, Kendrick talked about Drake's son. And obviously we all heard the songs. Did he talk about yeah. Drake's son? Did he insult Drake's son? <laughs> no, he insulted Drake no. to his son, yeah. I guess. But that's the spin. And automatically it's boom because the white kids connect with that because Kendrick, when he's saying that fucking police just want to kill us and fuck cracker. And fuck this. Mm -hmm. Guess what doesn't translate well? When Drake, who doesn't want to touch anything, anything with, I mean, but that's not his, that's not his not experience even his politics. Though. But my my thing is this though is it's not his you're, it's not his experience. You can't you can't make him talk so be, be a, a revolutionary if you no. But if I grew up if I grew up in a like if I grew up in a super multicultural multiracial situation where my best friend was from um my best friend's family was French. My other best friend's family, my, my best friend is white. My mom is white. My dad is black. I grew up in all these multiracial, similar to like people saying, like like Lil Wayne saying, like, I can't say black life matters this and a white man saved my life. That's his, that's his viewpoint. I'm not saying he's right or wrong. I'm just saying that his viewpoint is not Kendrick grew up in Compton. So yeah. his experience with is, is gonna be different. So the way that he projects is gonna be different. But what I'm saying is that Drake, the well. Going back to the original question, the reason why the machine is behind Drake because Drake makes dope ass music. You can't, they don't just pick people around like, oh, he he fits the bill. They, if that was the case, they give all that money and influence to Jack Harlow, or they give it to somebody who who they who who. You they, don't they, think the machine? You don't, you well, don't they, think yeah, the machine I mean, got they, behind they Jack Harlow? That. You don't think no. I mean another one six too, no. Billy Ellis. Yes. yes. You, you got think... Billy Ellis too. She makes good songs, but guess what? Her fucking parents are in the record industry already. It's nepotism. But what I'm saying but for Dre, I'm saying it... he came up under the biggest artist at the time, who was Lil Wayne. How but how? How? He made good it was he made it was good songs. Them. But what I mean, hold on a second though, because the thing is, everything you're you're saying it's not about numbers, but we're getting back to numbers because that's, I mean, that's popular music. That's what, I mean, he makes what I'm saying songs, is, he makes hits, right? By, by, by your, by your, by, by what y'all are saying about his, his, what, 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 by what y'all are saying, Tiger would have been the one because Tiger could, he can, he can get to the black crowd and he can get to the Asians and, and no mm-hmm. company and they write, no company right mind be like, I got a black Asian. Oh man. Yeah. We're going to push him all the way. Cause he got a whole 25 million people over there that, he, that they're going to buy like why why wouldn't they put their money behind Tiger? Yeah, and Tiger well, already I mean, got a hit before Drake come over there. He got three ignorance. or four hits. But you're I taking it. That's guy. ignorance of that was ignorance of just Asian people as a whole. Because if you think Asian people accept Tiger as Asian, <laughs> then I got a fucking I got a bridge to sell you somewhere. Because I'm gonna no, tell you I'm right saying, now. I'm not saying not that. I'm case. saying it. Do you think that black people? Do you think that white people ex- accept Drake because he's half white? I don't think it's I because think, he's half white. I think he is a better entry point into hip hop as a whole because of the fact that he makes easily digestible music, most of which doesn't make you think. And it's something that's got a catchy hook. He puts melodies on it. He can sing. Okay. He can rap. Not saying I'm mean, the dude can fucking I mean do all that. The rap is speaking part, about this is again his 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 his, his, his you're speaking about the songs that are the 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 you you talking about the meaty songs or whatever meaty songs the songs that he puts out for consumption right he because like it's like both of y'all we all admit that he's a hit maker he makes hit songs we're not talking about that it's like i'm not i'm not talking about ken and this is what i think usually happens with the ken lamar and drake uh discussion ken lamar fans talk about all the b cuts which are dope they talk about all the insightful cuts and then they compare those that those insightful cuts to the radio songs that drake's got like he ain't got western road flows like he ain't got uh, Lord knows, like he ain't got all these other these songs that are deep and insightful as fuck with some of the greatest artists of our time. They don't talk about them. Nobody's no. Nope. In this whole conversation, Drake got a verse with Rick Ross from ten years ago that talks about this exact situation, and nobody brought it up. None, none, of, none of the Kendrick fans brought it up because it would go against the grain. It's not, the the real the real the real back and forth here in this conversation between Drake and Kendrick is styles and people want to put drake's style on forefront like oh he's pop he's pop he's pop well shit so it so was kim lamar he's pop too but before the he's, beef even started that's what they were doing they were comparing the two styles they were you compare the two styles you compare drake as being a hit maker and all of this and then you say or not i don't know you might not have said it but people no, say, say well kendrick that, 
but people will say Kendrick Lamar is a conscious rapper, uh, X, Y, and Z. You know, he's the Pulitzer Prize winner, things like that. He has substance in his music. Drake talks about... It's the Nas and Jay-Z shit. One dude drop knowledge, one dude talk about money, cars, and hoes. And we know there's more substance to yeah. Drake than money, cars, and hoes, or whatever. But, like... And Jay-Z. I just feel like, on 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 the surface, yes, Drake makes hits. I feel like Drake makes hits. He has the machine behind him. He goes, he finds the hot wave, he hops on the songs with those hottest artists. Kendrick... Don't make sense Goes though. The, which mean it don't make sense. You name me a time that name me a time that Drake hasn't found the hottest artist hopped on a song and rolled the wave. Migos. No. What? The Migos. You mean tell me the Migos Versace. were not? No. The Migos was the Migos wasn't the Mig in fact that the whole the well, comment I, what makes it so funny is that uh Drake is the one that makes them hot. Drake makes uh UK drill hot. Drake makes Migos hot. Drake makes sexy rare. Sexy Red wasn't bu wasn't bubbling like she is now. She was. She, you mean don't look crazy because you didn't know she had a song five years ago. That was a that was. You out. the one who told me she had a song five years ago. That's and what I'm saying. Talk, about, and when you told me she had a song five years ago, when we were debating about Sexy Red to me make trash music, Drake was nowhere in sight at that point. She was already popping. No, she wasn't. My, my question is, saying is she this, had a, so is that is that really the data point we want to do that Drake put sexy red on? I, I'm just saying that's that's is his that data the, point. Is no, that, that's that, good for me. That's his data no, but point. I'm saying, I, but, but this is what I'm saying. This is why this is why I think it's unique how people why people do this. Like every song, like every song doesn't have to be a dissertation of life. And every song like, don't. It, the whole no, you're right. Hold up. But every this song, the whole every song, Wayne. Every song that was the whole thing by Wayne. Be, but every song don't have to be a party track either. It can be a mixture Why not? of whatever, bro. Well, why not? okay, if 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 you telling me every song don't have to be conscious rap, then why does every song have to be a party track? When I say every song don't got to be a party track, why are you saying why not? I'm saying the same I thing. Can, I I'm can saying ask that. you why not then. No, no, what I'm, what I'm saying is, how are you going to say because he makes music that's deep that he's better and because he makes a bunch of party tracks, he's worse. And I'm saying, I'm that's not, not saying, what I said, I'm not saying, I'm not, that is I, not what I said. Once it, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish. Not you. I'm saying how people say that his music is deep. His music is, is popular. It's pop music, right? And I'm saying like, how you gonna knock somebody for being the best at what they do? Hams, if you're the best party track maker and you keep making party tracks, how is that a knock, bro? How do you? How, why you gotta put all these connotations on his? On his? Oh, we got the machine behind him. No, that nigga make cold ass. Um, he make cold ass. Party tracks and popular songs, them you same songs. That but, talk you about. Put, but you put connotations behind K Dot when you said he's he's a B version of Andre 3000. He's a watered down version I, of Andre yeah. 3000. But I didn't. I did. I, I said I, no. I what I said. What I said was I said that I can't say he's the best or he's the top because he is a derivative and not as as good as. I'm not saying he's not great. Or he's not. I'm just saying that to me personally, Andre 3000 is better. So if I'm if I'm the, the 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 if I'm the fruit from your from your tree, how is the fruit better than the tree? That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying that the fruit ain't good. I'm just saying it's the tree's still there. And Andre three thousand tracks, like you can't make a track that sounds like mine, and then I'll be like, oh, you better than me. What I'm saying with Drake, Drake makes great music in his lane, so great that everybody falls in line and tries to get like Drake. Everybody tries to like. Everybody, uh, every last person that came out and said "fuck Drake" has songs with Drake and has videos of them say, praising how cold Drake is. Every from Kanye Ooh, to okay, I'm I'm just pause you real quick. What were you doing ten years ago? Uh, ten years ago, uh, I was probably. How Would you consider yourself the same exact person? No, no, no. no. So why why uh, this is another thing Drake fans keep bringing up, where it's like, okay, Kendrick did a song "Swimming Pools" with him back in 2012 2013 and it's like well he liked him then 12 years ago okay what's yeah. happened in 10 12 years uh yeah. kendrick from what i've seen in every album he's yeah. released and every song he's been yeah. on has been pretty fucking consistent in who he is and actually has shown through his music not only just who he is but also personal growth and also turmoil so when we're talking about shit Drake 10 years ago, turmoil? okay kendrick didn't show turmoil no, I'm saying Drake has shown turmoil in his life too. I, I yes, to be honest he's with talked you, about... I mean, go, let me let me ask you this: Which yeah. album does that the best for Drake or for, or for or for Kendrick? Well, Kendrick's an easier answer because of the fact that his albums are actually concise and they have a plan and they seem structured. 
But for Drake, yeah. in your opinion, what's what's his album that shows that? Because I know his what what's that not certified lover boy? What's it? What's the new no. one? What's the not oh, the new oh, one? What's the Scorpion? one where he's arguing that the the, uh, the chick ruins the Bahamas trip? <laughs> oh, that's oh, my. This is my yeah. thing though too though because obviously yeah. you know what I'm saying we're we're all. I mean I don't actually I don't know y'all. Y'all niggas might be up there too, but we're all honestly around <laughs> that nigga's age, either up or down. And I'm too sorry, sorry. I'm to be honest with you. So but yeah. this nigga's 37. Yeah. And he's rapping about the same shit he was rapping about at 23, except he's got more money and the girls are the same age. <laughs> the girls are the same I, I, age. I, I, <laughs> I would, so I would, I would, I would, I would disagree. I would disagree a little bit because I'm saying, how, I, I would say, I would agree I mean, with you. I, mean, not I agree with you, but I disagree. But, I'm saying, I'm not, and again, like going, you. going to, I'm not saying Kendrick's better because he's, he's lyrical, but it just, I mean, just rap as itself. If I'm a singer, you know, yeah. Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey doesn't have to write songs for her yeah. to be Mariah Carey. Mariah yeah. Carey has one of the greatest voices there is. Her talent yeah. is coming from her vocal box and her ability to sing. Okay. Why was Biggie great? Was Biggie like if Biggie couldn't write raps, what would he be? I don't think Biggie was great, but um, okay, all right, okay. B Biggie was. I'll be. Bro. I'll be honest. I don't this think contrarian Biggie's shit. Biggie I like it because that's me. But you saying Biggie's not great? I I would love to hear. I would love to hear a reason why. Okay. you feel okay. like you, you're great. crazy. If Do you hold Biggie up. won great, bro. Do you think Biggie was better than Mace? Yes. Yes. Why? I think he was a. I think he was a better storyteller. I think he he was a better rapper. Now the only reason why you can probably have the argument that Mace was better was the was simply because Mace was alive to have a longer run. No, I, think I would was, say also. I would say also not to cut you off, sir. But some of them songs that y'all think Biggie like some of them songs on Biggie album that was so big were Mace's songs that Mace brought to Puff and Puff just gave like okay, this is your song. So some of the some of the some of the songs that we feel like Biggie X Y Z were Mace's songs. Also, like like, like you told me, Mace pinned the whole song. Mace pinned the song. Mace pinned the song and and oh and and hold up and Mace conceptualized the song. So yeah, Biggie might have pinned some might have pinned his verse, but I came I conceptualized the song like hey okay we're gonna do this that and the other oh Luca oh but hold on you oh, still. Sorry. You, but you okay. looking for three three point game. I mean, only three seconds left. Up by he one. He play a but, lick uh, of defense either. He didn't. Well, now he did. He played some. Play some. Play the goddamn. Lick. But okay, okay, okay. So now looking at Biggie. <laughs> so we're saying we're saying at the same level now. You're knocking Biggie because there were maybe some reference tracks and some songs that <laughs> got pulled from Mace and given to Biggie. And you I'm feel saying like that, that never two, happened but, with hey. Drake. No, I'm saying Biggie ain't had but two albums. But Biggie died, though, bro. That's, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying. He, he died, bro. Okay, we're not talking about, about talking about Mason have two albums. So what are we talking about? Mason ain't got but two albums. What I'm saying is, if I got two albums and you Mace got two has albums, more, Mace has more more than just. I understand what you're saying. He he has he has he has the first one. He has Double Up. What was the next one that came after Double Up? Uh, Harlem World. Yeah, that's it. Harlem World Double. That's it. Nah, I thought he had some shit on G Unit or or that whatever no. that murky place was. No, Mace man, had that's a third old album. nigga. That's old nigga shit though too. But Boogie, what what's your favorite Kendrick album? All right, my not favorite say Kendrick, favorite. Uh, what's his best my favorite, album? My favorite Kendrick verse is the verse with him in the game, uh, the city. My favorite oh my Kendrick, Kendrick verse. My favorite. We're the angels in the city. When he that's your favorite on, verse. That's my favorite Kendrick verse. Uh, okay, my but what do you favorite, think his best album is? My favorite Kendrick album. Mm, and this is why. This is why. I can't. Put, it's another reason why I can't. Well, no, nah, I guess to pimp to pimp a butter to pimp a butterfly. My favorite one. Damn, I was trying good, to trap good you kid, man. Okay, cool. I don't know how you like to pimp a butterfly, and you like you can't like Drake too, nigga. That's I two very pimp. different things. What you mean? I like King Punta. I, oh, that boy Luca won the game. Oh, boy, that's sick. No, no, I mean, like, um, kind of going back to it though. But like, even okay, so. Just to clarify and kind of get back on the right track. So you're mm -hmm. talking about Ross and Drake, the song 10 years ago, mm -hmm. right? Break that mm -hmm. down. So what are you saying? Like, what were they saying on that song that points to now? In that song, Drake was talking about, he was talking about growing in the industry, becoming famous. And he's like, I wonder how the greats would deal with the landscape today where people, when they don't like you, just go back and try to dig up all the dirt they can find on you 
Like they don't, they don't talk about, and then and it's like they don't talk about. They can say anything about me, but they don't talk. They don't talk about my flow. The actual thing that we really, really probably beefing about the the thing that you say I can't do. They ain't never said Drake. Drake can't, like even in our con- we've never had. We never say Drake can't rap. That's never been. That's never been a conversation. The conversation has been what he raps about, the way he does it. Is but you know what I'm saying? Is but it's never about. It's never about the actual thing. Which what makes is the because whole- who wrote it? Is always a question. It helped, but okay, if, if because that, again, saying, you you that's just that's love. just what they do. Because because okay, when Drake said Keem was writing his stuff, like I don't, I don't know how true that is. Yeah, but that I'm was saying, straight like, up blood though. Well, Keem was know? ten when Good Kid, Mad City came out. Yeah, so, that, was, that was a lot, bro. The how most, you know it's I mean, a lie? How you know it's true? What do you mean? I mean, the, really, I'm not the saying only, it's true. The not evidence. My, that's the my only thing. evidence we have of either one of them using either one of like anything for them is Kendrick reference tracks that became Keem song. You got Kendrick, I'm saying is, who before they like he is left playing, TDE, is on both sides of the, uh, but Daylight is on both on both teams the whole time. Well, not well for a long period of time. Daylight is on both teams. He's uh, he's 100 percent on Drake's team, 100 percent on 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 TDE. And and daylight will come out on a Monday and be like, yeah, man, this is about Kendrick, and it come out on a Tuesday. This is about Drake. So like, daylight me, has never said that he did he wrote anything for K Dot. Yes, not he did. Even a, it's not a question. Yes, he did. He daylight has never did. said he goes wrote for K Dot, bro. Please so go it, back, pull and, it up go, right now. Go, and, no, 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 pull it up back, right oh, now. What's the name of the song that he wrote? The OVO song he wrote that he was because that's what he he was referencing. He was he was saying that I'm the person that. This is before this beef. This is before the beef. Before all this beef. Uh, it, what's the OVO song? I pull it up. I pull it up. Even, and and then this is the coldest part about it. So we gonna believe the ultimate troll. But anyway, keep going. Who's the ultimate troll? Daylight. Do you believe that Daylight wrote back to back? I'm just asking. Why would I believe that, bro? I'm asking. Do you believe? Why would you believe he wrote anything for Kendrick then? If you don't believe he wrote it for Drake, no, wrote I'm, something I'm not, for I'm, Drake. Like Kendrick has no I'm question. Saying, he's writing shit. Besides well, Drake so you, fans trying to throw this and make it a comparison, when it's what I'm not. saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is the 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 conversation about people writing for you or helping your pen is like you can't you can't say in one in one instance that this is a global thing and we're doing da 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 da, da. like that's the ego talking saying that oh he wrote everything and that's it. no man th- this is the way that this thing works the way that they make music and the the, the all the ears and people it goes through. Even if I even let's say he, let's say Kendrick wrote everything he every single word he ever wrote I mean he ever rapped he wrote it right when it goes through his seventeen hands they come back and be like no nah, change this or no nah, you can't do that right there or what if he did it? like this happened because Kendrick is not releasing music on on VFX or, or or my own records he's going through Interscope. No, so I get you that think point. That in, like, like, like bro, we, you think we, the Interscope is not have no uh-huh. input on what he's but saying? I, but I, but so I that's not the accusation that Drake has. That's not the accusation. That's not the The accusation against Drake is yeah. for initially Quentin Miller mm-hmm. wrote shit for him mm-hmm. without crediting him because if mm-hmm. you go to that, it should go to DSPs with their name credited. And the fact okay. that his name's not credited on anything, yeah. except there's reference tracks of him rapping it, and then there's a yeah. song with Drake rapping it. That's different than Interscope saying, "Hey." Tone down that nigga nigga shit. Would you would you or would you say that okay when we go th- we we I'm a I'm a I'm a historian. I'm a historian, right? So oh, I am too daddy. When Lu- when 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 Luther <laughs> Bandros when Luther Bandros Oh here we go. And Stephanie oh, what you mean here we go? What I'm gonna say. I think it's I think it's I think it's a difference. What I'm gonna say, what, 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 say? No, what, I, what I'm gonna say is I think it's a difference between a, a R and B singer or or a jazz singer covering What's the difference? Another, a covering another well, song. Because the No 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 again, no well, let, me, let, me, let me finish. When Luther Bandros, Stephanie Mills, when they were in the, in the background pinning for these these big artists, right? Because their pen was so strong, Lionel Richie, when he was pinning for other artists, because they pin is strong, when it's their time to shine, they shine, right? If Kendrick, if 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 Quentin Miller pen is that strong, if you say that Quentin Miller can pin for Drake, what his albums did, what his songs did, so, you, so your you're pen saying is Drake's that strong. So Drake's the greatest rapper alive, is what you're no, saying right now. Not even close. Okay, then why close. is he why is he the biggest artist if your pin is gonna take you everywhere? Because if he's not the greatest rapper, why hasn't no. the greatest rapper surpassed him? You, and you who that is, Drake, I don't fucking know. But I'm pretty you sure think Drake's I mean, in the top of, five of, of best rappers of the last ten years. No. 
I, I can't put him there because there's okay, issues who would you with put whether in the or not top he's five. rapping. Who would last you put in the top five of the last 10 years from 2024 to 2014? I'll give Drake because five. Top, but he's but top five. I mean, then it's going to be then it's going to be cold. But also it's top five because last 10 years from 2014 to now ain't mm-hmm. fucking been much that I would really consider good at all, honestly, outside of a couple niggas. And it would honestly it would be what Kendrick. I mean, mm-hmm. Mac Miller before he died. Okay. Drake's going to get that's... feet up there. Cole. And then it's weird to say this. Oh, <laughs> You said the last 10 years? The last yeah. 10 years, man, but I'm just... Uh, Do you consider Kanye one of the best rappers in the last 10 years? No. I think all of... I said, yeah. I, said, I yeah. think, I mean, for me, uh, his, uh, like, uh, rapping-wise, his best swear. albums so, are so book, 2009. So book, you, you would say Kanye, Kanye is one of the best rappers in the last 10 years? I'm not going to cut you off. No, I'm going to say yeah. So I'm not going to cut make, you off. I'm going to say yeah. So does that make Consequence and Saha the best rappers in the last 10 years as well? Since no, they goodness. they pinned his shit amongst that's others. What I'm saying that, that's that's that the way the way that you frame it, like framing the conversation is very important when you're talking about something. Because you say if you say Saha and Consequence pinned Kanye shit right, but we know you, we know Cons- they did. Oh, 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 oh. but how we know they did. Though. How come Consequence? No, we did. We know they they helped no, we with some of the songs. percent know that Consequence Saha have written for Kanye as well as yeah, Drake has but, written for Kanye. Okay, but what what, as what, well what as did Conway album do? Has written for what, did, for what did Con, what did what did Conway album do compared to what Kanye album did? It's did, a did, different. Did, did, Con, did Conway pin a song with him and Ghostface that just came out? He did that too. Did Conway pin a song with him the last four um features Kanye had? Like you're taking a micro a micro or something. And put, I'm not and, taking the micro of anything. So you're gonna sit far, here, and bro, me, because you're, you're gonna you're gonna sit here and tell me that Kanye is pinning all of his shit. Kanye West. I didn't. I didn't. That was a conversation. The we, conversation everybody was. Everybody knows that was a conversation. Yeah, but no, 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 no. Everybody knows Kanye has writers. Like everybody knows Dr. Dre has writers. Everybody knows Puff bro, had writers because no, these that's guys crazy, weren't. Bro, that's crazy. No, what, no, how is that bro. Crazy? Because you, how are you gonna like? Okay, Dub. No, no, me and you play basketball. Right? No, 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 no. Let's keep it on rap, bro. I don't, I don't want no basketball now. Okay, me bro. and you look, look, it's the same thing, bro. You try to say because they had a right because with Dre having writers and Puff had writers, it's not the same as Kanye having writers because Puff and Dre have shown that they can't rap like that. But Kanye has shown the the writers who write with Kanye say, Oh, yeah, he can rap his ass off. The, Nobody the, has the, ever the, said the, fuck the rapper's ass off. Nobody has ever said book, that Drake rapper's ass off. The ability of rapping is not the question here. Then the what are you talking about? Being, then? The, the ability of being able to perform a song is not in question. No, no, we're talking about rapping. Nobody's ever said that Dr. Drake can rap his ass off. Nobody's ever said that Hump Daddy can rap his ass off. Nobody's ever said that about, about these guys. But guys who pin... Guys who 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 would say or people say he wrote for Kanye, they say man Kanye can rap. I'm confused. He doesn't because need me to I, rap. Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. I'm confused huh? because I don't know where this whole thing that Kanye can rap. I didn't say he couldn't rap. I didn't say that the man couldn't rap. Well, what are we talking pockets. about then? I'm talking about the writers, bro. We know Kanye has writers. What I'm saying is, I'm not talking about the ability. I'm with. not talking about. I'm not trying to do anything. I'm not talking about. I'm not debating the we ability. We can't compare Kanye to Puff, bro. That's not. You, that's damn, not a fair you're not comparison. Even let me finish. You're not even let me finish. But you, that's what you said out your mouth. You said Dre has. What the fuck you mean? That's what and, I said about and, my mouth. What I said. What you was, said. What I said was, and I'm speaking about the comparison of these people who don't necessarily pin their own material, but they can perform said material. I never it's said. Saying, that, you got it. It's not the same, bro. You saying that because we did the same thing that we're equal. That's not what I said. Because I some, never said anything that, that, about that's any exactly kind of what you equality. said. Nigga, I that's didn't, that exactly, is exactly what you said. I didn't say that, bro. I didn't bring up any kind of fucking equality. No Black Lives Matters. No whole hands and kumbaya, nigga. I went. I ain't say none of that. I was speaking about the 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 person who might be a, a producer or someone, uh, whatever, who doesn't pin their own material, but they have ghostwriters to put out their material. That's all I was talking about. I wasn't talking about who was better, who was on the same level, none of that shit. The question I asked you was if you said Kanye yeah. was one of the best rappers in the last 10 years, would that yeah. make guys like Consequence and Psy High some of the best rappers in the last 10 years as well? Because we know they have pinned things for Kanye because they've been credited for writing for Kanye. That's all I asked. Okay, so my question is this. So 
do you have do you have any way to say what consequence pinned for can you, when you when, when I'm like pretty sure if, if I go call, I'm pretty sure me, if I, I go look at me, credits can I finish to can, can I finish sir can I finish 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 no can I finish no can I finish my statement because I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna let me finish my statement I'm not gonna let you do that bro do what I gotta finish first let you sit here and try to make it seem like that it's not a known fact that consequence and side I but let me finish what I'm saying let me finish what I'm saying that's what people are saying you don't know what was pinned you all you know is that they hit they they contributed on the album right that's all you know you don't know if they contributed one line or 20 lines you're making the assumption that they pinned the majority of it but you have no idea there's you no way you could know well educate me then do you, you have don't idea? know so how you no, gonna no, say come out come on do you know no but i didn't say it you did so why are you asking me because we already know it's a known fact no you me. said it but you don't know all you know is what you see on the paper, but first you don't off, know if it was five percent or twenty five percent. First off, sir, what do you mean? I don't know. What, what are you trying you to say? You don't know. So are you, tr so are you trying to you say? You don't know, people. Five percent. Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying? I don't know because I'm I'm dumb. No, I'm saying you don't know because how would you know? I don't know. Gotcha. So how would you know? And you weren't in the I'm studio going, with I'm them. Going, I'm, I'm going by what someone is credited for. See now, now you. But you don't know what. But was that on the credit? Is does it say he wrote the hook or he wrote the song? Is that what it says on the song? Kind sir, you know it doesn't say that. So how do you know what they wrote? All right, I got you. What you mean? I'm asking. How am I supposed to know? I know. So, so why would I, if you I don't know, know how know, you so sure it's saying they can't be it first can't be off, Kanye? First off, I know they're credited for writing credits on the song. Secondly, I see Kanye as performer and producer, and I see that's consequence side high as writer's credits. Now we also have seen interviews done where he's these, on writer too. We've also seen interviews done where these guys. We know that they pin songs for. We know Kanye has. A we whole don't know. Writer. We know. We Kanye, don't know. We know Kanye West has a whole writer's team when he gets yes. in album mode. When Kanye but was, you in, don't know how. When Kanye was in Omaha, wherever the fuck he was, we yeah. all know that there was a whole writing team, a slew yeah. of artists that okay. were there pinning shit for Kanye. We know that. I agree with you. I agree with you, so but, you don't, don't but, saying, but, but you don't. But I'm saying, but you don't know. You but you're just assuming. No, but see, you're right, assuming. Man, I ain't assuming shit. You're assuming. Know, yes, you are, because you don't know what they did, bro. I don't know how why you, you know. Okay, know well, tell me how you know that they wrote know, this. I don't know why you're sitting here arguing this fact when we all know that it's not a fact. It's an opinion, bro. All right, you got because it, you're you're, you're now, guessing that you're guessing. No, no, you're guessing. You're guessing that they wrote this. You don't know. Okay, so. If if every on every Kanye album that he has, he's he's as a writer on every single song. Am I is that true or false? I'm not saying that he doesn't contribute to the song. I'm not saying so. That. What do you so? Saying, how do you know who did what, nigga? I'm not saying that he does does not contribute to the song. I don't even know why you're trying to argue agree. this point, bro. I don't know. Why I agree you're with you. To no, no. I'm asking point. you. But I'm asking you. How no, do you no, know no, who no, did no, what? Because you asked me some bullshit, bro. Because you don't even fucking How's that bullshit, there's, nigga? You're because there's up. no time out. Shut the fuck up. Because there's no way. That you can figure oh, out who <laughs> No, nah, because you you really on some bullshit right now, bro. You trying you, How you I'm on some bullshit. You try to discredit this man writing. And I'm saying, I, okay, I off, agree with you, bro. I'm not they, I agree discredit. with you. Time out, time out, time out. I agree I'm, with you. Time out. No, no, time out. I'm not trying to discredit. I can't agree with you. Nigga, I'm not trying to fuck that. I'm not trying to discredit anything, bro. All I'm okay, saying, go ahead. You know what? No, nah, you got it, bro. I said, go ahead, sir. I'm nah, with you. you. I'm riding with you, sir, bro. You got I don't I don't I don't want to I don't I don't I don't want to argue anymore. I'm I'm agreeing with you, sir. I don't want to argue anymore. You got it. Who's arguing? I'm just saying, if you say that so and so wrote so and so, and I'm agreeing with you. Now I'm asking, okay, well, what they wrote? Do they write the hook? Do they write a verse? Because if I write two lines on the song, and and if you want to be, if you want to be, from what people have written, they say that Kanye is the person who will give credit, writers credit to everybody who's in the room. That's documented. The people didn't need that didn't even give him words. He'll credit them as writers because they was in the room, help with the vibe. I'm not disagreeing that those guys helped him write. I'm just saying the way that you're putting when you when you put him in the same boat with Dre, and we know that Dre, you know that Dre had somebody write a whole verse for him. He ain't had nothing to do with it. He how do you know? How do you, how do you know Dre had somebody write a whole verse for him? Were you in the studio? With because him? because 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 the conversation that Dre, uh, Snoop, and Jay Z had was that oh yeah, Snoop said I wrote a verse for Dre. So and so order versus Dre. I mean, corrupt order versus Dre, and we, and we know we, we know that because these parties have got on interviews and said what they pinned for Dre, just like Sahara si the Prince and Consequence and, and and Conway the Machine and Benny the Butcher and 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 Pusha T 
have gotten and Drake have gotten on interviews and told us what they have pinned for Kanye. They said so the they, they said no, they said no, 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 time out, time out. No, that is not true. So the same thing that you're Who saying, the, because, the, the same thing that you're saying in, in regards to these guys saying what they pinned for Dr. Dre, we also have artists saying what they pinned for Kanye. No, they don't. I, 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 yes, I'm they sorry. Do, bro. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm yes, wrong. Hold do. on. I'm wrong. Let me, let me, let me. Let me. I'm wrong. $90. What I'm saying is, I'm saying that Corona, I'm saying like, that, bro, you might as well just be drinking Sprite. I'm man, saying that. Trying to get ready for Spain, nigga. Hey, 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 <laughs> y'all can argue all y'all want. But Kanye, I never seen a nigga like the greatest rapper, but the nigga is one of the greatest producers of all time. And he also, has, have, have you probably, heard the Kanye verse I on, on, on Ghostface album? Three first albums are classics. I would say all three, Ooh. but niggas might not agree with that graduation. But even then, writing the credits, and that's not my problem. I think it's money in the water. Writing credits, honestly, that's good. If you're giving someone a writing credit, that means I was in the I was in the fucking thing. You pull up any Kendrick album. There's other niggas that, tr uh, that are on here credited for, for writing writing. credits. Of course. Exactly. And they're credited. Me, that's me and not Boog the problem. Been, me, me the and Boog problem been is rappers. the songs that Drake is con like considered not to have written were one-on-one -on -one diss track where you shouldn't have any help writing this. And well, if you're saying another nigga right, wrote man. it, that's <laughs> one thing. But at the end of the day, man, it 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 obviously is going to come down to preference. But exactly, I prefer when I listen to music, yeah. and I'm talking about what makes music great, something that just, yeah. and again, this is I'm, I'm just going to keep quoting Kendrick, something that <laughs> pacifies me and doesn't, doesn't require me to think, and I just want to, you know, vibe out to the song, that's fucking fine. But that's yeah. also not something that I got from 3K. Is that what made 3K great? Because he made catchy songs? No. No. Every goddamn track he was on, he made catchy songs. Every fucking yeah. track he was on, I'm listening. I'm caught up. I'm listening word for word. What's this nigga saying? Because not only do I want to hear what he has to say, I want to <laughs> process it and see how I can use that in my life because I feel like this nigga's music and this art can better me. Can All you right, say question, the same question, thing question. for Drake? No, but that Question. might not be I mean, what sometimes, you're looking for. And again, sometimes I can't. Sometimes, sometimes Which I can't. All, but I mean, I I would I question, would argue question, that question. very far and few between. Question, question. Um, zero or zero. Lil Kiki? Zero. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm I'm ask Kiki, it. but I'm still gonna say zero. I'm gonna say it again. Zero. Zero or Lil Kiki? What about you, Gub? Zero or Lil Kiki? You can't ask me that because it's a bias, though, bro. Because I ain't from Mo City. I'm from H Town. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about? South Side H Town. So I'm ride with Lil Kiki the Don. You know what I'm talking about? All right. All right. Uh, all right. South Side Screws Finest. Now, that ain't I, saying, I'm that, saying that, that ain't saying that Zero ain't dope. So, I did. you know what I'm talking I, about? I, I agree. I agree. Okay. Zero, zero. Okay. I'll make it easy for both of y'all. I don't like how you said that, bro. Base. I'm not making it easy for both. I said both of y'all. I don't like how you said that, though. I still don't. I, I take offense to that. All right. Face or who? Scarface. Or Kiki, it's, it's Scarface. That's 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 no that's yeah. a no brainer. You think so? You no. Know, what, what what now? What do you mean though? Because I would say Lil Kiki. Out of those two, Lil Kiki probably has a song I like more than anything Scarface has. But well, Scarface just has a bigger discography. And also, I mean, does he? Big. No, does he? Does he? For you might, you might, what you I know, you say bigger. Yes. You mean In songs? You mean? That, you mean songs sales. That took more than just no, 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 no. For what no, he no, might know, sales popularly, yeah, exactly. What for I what he know. might, he, he's younger than us, so for what he might know, like Kiki has probably no, no, bigger discography than than. If I'm, if I'm saying Kiki, but then drop every year for the last like four or five years, but for the last four or five years to the last four or five years, how old is little Kiki? Now? I mean, I ain't listening to the last Hold four or five man, years. I gotta important. be honest, but that's another thing. Y'all ain't heard what's this nigga talking about? That's talking about. I'm gonna stop y'all. I gotta stop y'all. Get on the verse when he get on the verse. I gotta stop y'all right now, nigga. I'm listening to the flute album, nigga. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, look, Can't Stop you, the you Rain, art, Kiki nigga. album. Can't Stop the Rain, Kiki album dropping, I think, week four last. Pick It Up is one of the dopest little Kiki albums that's been out. Uh, uh, um, Legend, of course, is a dope Kiki album that came out a couple years ago. On, yeah, last year, too. Kiki's been dropping albums every other year for the last three years, and they have been hard. They have been dope albums. See, I ain't gonna uh, lie to Jack you, bro. Cream. I, 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 I do, I do d d defer to you because uh, your music knowledge is greater than mine. But uh, you still the nigga that tried to tell me Gunzo was a fire artist, bro. And because of that, I, fire, I just, bro. I just can't take you serious sometimes. What it is, what, what it is, is my, my. And this is not nothing against anybody. Uh, my palate is different when it comes to music because, like, what I'm saying Everybody's is, is, like, no, but I'm saying, yeah, you're right, you're right. 
But my palate is that like if 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 I go to St. Louis and I hear uh St. Louis music, it's a vibe in the city. So there's something that might be palatable to the na- to the nation, which might be Nelly. But really, Kiwan is the one that's really making the city bop. So now I gotta see, okay, well, why is the city bopping? The, the, just like um, Mac Dre might be the one or, or make the city bop, but E40 is palatable, palatable to, the, to the to the to the states, right? Like bass might be the one to make the world bop, but really, Kiki, every person in Houston raps like Kiki. Every person in Houston on any level at some point come down and they finna decline. That's Kiki. So you can't say you so just just because I, this I don't person think has you can ha- say that's exclusively Kiki. I just think that's but also I would flow. think that's the problem. No, that's Houston Kiki, bro. What you mean? I don't think that's exclusively Kiki. Houston. Who started it? Who came first? Was it uh ESG or Kiki? I'm just asking. Kiki? Kiki came Kip before. Kiki was the one. No, no. Um, Swang and Bang, he wasn't rapping. Swang and Bang was, he was rapping, bro. Kiki's uh, about to throw down like a fresh set of domino for all the pimps, all the players, all them. Kiki was like, I think it was, he was like the youngest out of all the screwed up click. But Kiki Flow is the one, pa- every Paul Wall, Sauce Walker, all of them will tell you, I'm, I'm Kiki, ESG. ESG might have been there, but ESG went he went away for like five years. But even even swinging and banging was on the same at the same time as Kiki. Kiki is original SQC, so I, yeah, I, Kiki I'm first. not debating any of that. I'm just I yeah. I remember before I heard one Kiki song, I had older cousins who were on Southside Ace Time Slang, and I don't know that Kiki is the originator of the slang that the people in our age record use. I'm, I'm not saying, arguing. It. I'm not I'm not gonna argue. Yeah, I'm, it. I'm saying that ESG ain't even from Houston. That's what I mean. Huh? No, I'm saying that he he was from Louisiana. He came to Houston. They wasn't rapping like that in Louisiana. <laughs> they were rapping like, like that in Houston. We've heard what Louisiana's rap sounded like in the early 90s. They was on some bounce shit. Houston was the one that was slowed down and was slowed. But Kiki is, Kiki is, man, that's Kiki, man. I'm not saying that is, she ain't throw, but that's Kiki, o- bro. Open Kiki. A, a talk about your, your palate. Now, when you say you got a, a is it, you... <sighs> Because I feel like the way you described it was, you know, and then also what you're talking about, Kiki's album recently, and and you go to St. Louis, you're looking for, you know, the niggas that are touching the streets and shit like that. I think, like, 21 got to say, like, it, it's be hard to convince any nigga in Atlanta that Drake is bigger than Future. But, like, is it, True. like, all-encompassing? Or, like, what are you... Because I'm, but, but so I, I'm, saying, it, I'm saying, so, so bigger than Future. Like, some things are regional, some things are generational. So, like, I will, I'm I'm older, so like the future. I was like, man, this is just listening to it. I'm hearing it, but then when you see it, how it works in the how it works with the young people and how they use it, what they do with it, whether they they, they drink it to it, they fuck into it, or whatever they doing to it, how they vibing with it, it's like, oh, that's the vibe. That's what that's I'm looking at it from my palette, from my from my age group, or how I listen to music. Like I'm listening to a person who listened to Stevie Wonder and and Lionel Richie and and the Commodores and 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 Duran Duran and Milli Vanilli, like I got that in my system. They they ain't never had that. They had few. They had they had Ja Rules and so and so. And Future is 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 the the next step from that. You know, he's a vibe. So when they say Future is one of the goats, you can't. You know what I'm saying? I can't knock that. I, I understand on that his vibe. He a goat. You know what I'm saying? He created a vibe. We our our era looked at the lyrical content of what you can do. This era, what well, the era of focus is going on right now, they looked at how you can make people move. How can you how can you move them? How can you touch their spirit? You know what I'm saying? And in different cities it's different. Like you said, you go to 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 to, to Oakland and they they with the Thiz and all that Mac Dre, they move. You go to Detroit, they all y- y- Yachty, Yachty is a goat in Detroit. You go to Detroit, this it's a whole era of Yachty in Detroit. And all them young dudes in their twenties and the twenty, they sound just like your little yachty. Google like Bar Wars. That's what I'm saying. Like it's people who it's people who are in an area who influence the whole area. Who if you're not from there, you would have no idea about because it's a vibe for that area, for that for that era area and that era. And then and it I, hits I, the I, masses and it changes. Yeah. And I think, and again, just trying to stick with 
Drake and Kendrick because <laughs> honestly, I'm just saying it's kind of how it all started too. But like Toronto, yeah. I got family in Toronto. Yeah, Toronto didn't have like you were talking about the it's multicultural and shit like that. These motherfuckers talking with this like half ass Jamaican fucking accent and shit like that. Come on, that's yeah, brand my, fucking what's, new. What's, no, it's not. No, it's not. What's what was um? Oh, uh, um I, I got it. I got it. No official. Yes, it is Cardinal official. That was that was a biggest rapper about Drake. And that's that's the nineties. That that is brand fucking new for you to see little white kids picking up yeah. fucking shit like that. And even, in, honestly, black kids, because my cousins is black yeah. that live there. And that shit's new. So Drake started a wave in there, but that wave yeah. came from co-opting other niggas' shit. And I'm just saying, Drake, like, Drake hasn't brought a sound outside of honestly his kind of back and forth r&b to to rap and i just i can't i can't just see like, he's got a whole fucking he's got a dance hall album did he blow up yeah dance he, hall? he like, cold did he, he but cold. i mean you said he blew that up you're saying he made dance hall music popular no 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 no, no. i'm saying i'm so saying he that. hopped on the wave that. and i'm saying that like when when stevie wonder did jamming steve wonder didn't invent reggae but when stevie wonder did jamming it was a he opened up the door and he it was like oh man we ain't know we didn't know that even the Jamaicans even the Bob Marleys at the time didn't know that reggae could do this and that's what Drake does that's what Drake does like they UK drill is 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 banging and it, but they don't even they ain't know it can do this though I ain't know that the sing that the Drake is Ja Rule bro he Ja Rule. But we ain't know Ja Rule could do this though. We know that style could. We know it could I do. We knew too much, the style. I think you putting too much dip on Drake Chip, man. Really, I do. How, I how nigga? This nigga is it's the the most sold. At... Exactly. Boom. Take me, Say take, it again. take me out of it. Take me out of it. What I'm saying is the proof in my pudding. What, what the way why I feel like I'm better than what I'm saying is because a bunch of people gravitate to that music. Like name an artist that was popular in the last twenty years, and I guarantee that they 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 biggest song is with Drake. What what more can I say? Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, uh, Weekend. Rihanna biggest song is with Drake. One of her biggest well, songs Rocky, is with Drake. ASAP Rocky's biggest song is Drake and Kendrick. Um, yeah, Rihanna's biggest song actually might Drake. be Eminem. H who? Oh yeah, yeah, that was a big song. You see what I'm saying? I bet you, I bet you Drake's song ain't too far behind though. I guarantee I mean, that the Drake sure, song. But again, the, and this is my this is my thing. What's the most? I mean, the, again, sales. Okay, how? I'm not. But see, I'm not. Okay, go ahead, go, go ahead, go ahead. How many? How many G wagons are sold in the United States a year? A lot. Do you think there's know, more G wagons or Camry sold? Camry, of course. Is is Camry a better car? Like, is Camry considered like a better? Is that a better product? No. Okay, but what mm -hmm. is it? It's affordable. It does its and, job. Oh, it can get into more it households, huh? It's more house, yeah. It fits yeah. more exactly. Yeah. What does Drake but not, not, not do? And this is my thing: don't okay. be a nigga and then not yeah. talk. I mean, and not be a nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's my. That's my. It's the inauthentic inauthenticity that I think is that's the, big the problem. problem. That's Which, the part that I I don't get because I think that niggas is the most inauthentic. Like the the entire the entire premise of so, well, not I'm tired. A lot of the, the pockets of hip hop are kind of productive to being a nigga. Like the reason why I don't I don't I don't ever shit on Kendrick. I'm not saying I, I'm not I, I don't I I I don't shit on on Kendrick because he in some ways is trying to break the mold of what hip hop is because hip hop is is, is is conflict, which is to me is, is super weird because I'm like, bro, the real reason you tripping with Drake is because Drake said that y'all in the top three. Drake didn't say you was bullshit. Drake never Drake said Drake shot it. some lines. He, dro he dropped some lines at you. Drake never said but, it. But Drake never said what? That they were the no, top Cole, three. Cole said it on Cole, Cole said it. Cole three, said it was yeah. top three. They top three. But I'm saying, but Drake ain't never been like Kendrick is bullshit. He said, he said, yeah, if I did what you did, I would have your fans. He said, he said that I'm able to 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 be in spots that you can't get in. He said that I ain't gotta do no records with no pop artists to, to stay relevant. He said that kind of stuff. Little little sly shots, but it is what it is. What I'm saying is Kendrick Kendrick has tried to keep rap in a space of positivity, but the 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 the, the basis of rap is on some like let's be let's, it's not about being together, bro. It's about it's about separating and I'm the best and you we can't all be the best or we can't all be to here together. It gotta be me. It can only be one type shit. So 
I don't know. And from like, how I heard, I mean, honestly, the control verse 2013, and he names a bunch of people, ASAP Rocky, Drake, yeah. Mac Miller, Jay Electronica for some reason. Um, and a couple niggas came back at him. I think Lupe Fiasco, Jay Electronica, they had like little mini beefs, but yeah. Drake got mad Joe at Joe Budden. That. And uh, Joe Budden, and I'm not even going to get started on that nigga, Aaron. Don't even fucking. <laughs> but I'm just Drake saying the took first nigga flow, like Drake stole with Joe Budden. And in reality, if you look at from 2013 to now, because I think when did fucking problems come out? I think that was the last song they did together, which was probably 2012, 2013, like that year. It was right around that same time. But I don't, I mean, just hearing that verse, even when I first heard it, it was like, motherfucker, I'm rapping. This is a competition. We're going to rap against each other. And niggas got offended by it. And then he's come out and he, there's been little jabs and shit like that back and forth. But at the end of the day, I think his biggest problem is even Kendrick, who is from Compton, which you can get put in a box. If you're a Compton rapper, what do you expect it to be? You're expected to basically just fucking YG. That's what you're expected to be as a rapper out of Compton. But a nigga coming out saying, what in the gang? Hey, man, I'm just a nigga that's getting caught up in shit. And every single one of his albums, and even then, I'd say more Section 80 is the start of it. Good Kid, Mad City kind of fell off some. But then t pap comes right back with, you got a nigga that's, you know, it's conscious rap, it's lyrical. And when you see his evolution, and you see, you know, <laughs> Drake's evolution, or lack thereof, I feel like that's where you're, I think that's where it is. I, I just, it's hard for me to to have someone look at Drake and not say he's inauthentic because he, he's riding waves, which there's no problem in that. But don't be out here talking about you big threes, you rappers, I'm rapping, I'm rapping, I'm rapping. When for me, anybody can fucking rap. Anybody can fucking nah, put their voice. No, no, no. Hold on a second, no. because when I say rap, hold on a second. Anybody yeah. can fucking rap. I, there's niggas with good enough pens that can put anybody on there and you can make a song where this nigga, damn, he got bars. But obviously a big part of that is the presentation. But then if you're not writing the shit and all you're doing is performing, you're basically Millie Vanilli, a singer that can't sing. Basically you're wrong, bro. Cause look, look, have you, have you heard, well, not recently, but have, did you hear them then? I didn't, I don't think so because from what I know, they were dubbed over. Yeah. But I'm saying, but they came out and tried to, well, they tried to sing after they got caught and they wasn't ready. Now the one, the one that's still living, he actually can blow. He can blow right now. And on top of that, the the guys who wrote and sang the songs came out with a group immediately afterwards called the Real Money Vanilli. And what that do? I I can't name a song. I literally watched the documentary a couple weeks ago and I still can't remember thinking the song that they wrote. And so, what I'm saying is, you had two caramel niggas with dreads that were tall and good looking. Oh. I'm, all I'm saying is this, nigga. Damn, man. Like, the nigga is presentable. It's perfect. It's fucking yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah, bro. He's like, Michael like, Jackson. Like, He's like, right. Like Drake, He's Drake right. said it. Hey. Oh, I, I, and it He's the okay. king of pop. I'm going I'm to I'm say it like this. I understand and feel some of the things. I, I have a very objective. And my palette of music is also very objective. So I can see. I can understand. I feel like I understand. What Maxo Cream talking about? What like when I hear Sauce Walker rapping, I see his skill, but I also know where he, I, I I feel where his skill is coming from, right? I I understand where Chameleon Air's passion is coming from. I understand that Paul Wall and Chameleon Air being a group is a, is an interesting dynamic because we are opposite in every which way. We're and the way we attack a beat is different, not just verbally, but because of our experience. The way people look at us, the way that we've been, that we, the, the way that we present and have been accepted in life is different. I'm a cool ass white boy who everybody fuck with, so my flow is gonna be different. You don't hear struggle bars from from from. You don't hear no struggle bars coming out of Paul Wall, but Chameleon Air got straight struggle bars and straight. They don't believe me. They don't trust me. You see what I'm saying? Drake don't have struggle bars. Drake and light skinned niggas have been they've been they've been on TV since he was 14 years old. The amazing thing about Drake. To me, is that Drake can get off song with Twenty One Savage and it be seamless. Drake can get on a song with the Migos and it's seamless. It's just a, the song is his song is not necessarily about the struggle, and he can put the way that he because he even though he's had a different lifestyle, he still has different he has issues he deal with, and he can talk about those issues in a way 
oh yeah, well shit, I know, yeah, y'all know bitches fuck with me or women uh, uh, come out my way, but shit, that make a nigga think like, damn, they don't want me for me or is it because I got paid or they don't want, that's, they just want light-skinned nigga or how, you know, the way he puts it. That's not what the Migos saying. The Migos I mean, on some whole Mike difference, you know what I'm saying? saying and that shit, that's the whole hook. Back to name woman. I'm just... But not, but, I mean, but, he not but Mike saying, Jones, he's not saying he nothing say, new, but you like no, the way but the I'm saying, but I'm saying that no, no, I'm saying Drake saying Make back then they did want me. Good. Drake, Drake saying back then they did want me. Like, I ain't he ain't got no, I he don't got no, no flow. Somebody how he was an underdog. He's started saying, like, shit, okay, started from, what, oh, what's yeah, the bottom yeah. he talking about? The bottom but of the rap also, game because they, you know, because, because they when he came in, what was the, what was the conversation about Drake? This whole actor, nigga, he ain't got nothing. We ain't fucking with him, man. What the man, right. And he proved through his bars that I belong here. Rick Ross is the same way. Like we, every every male, especially black male or biracial male, has the same story. You know what I'm saying? We 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 tried to 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 assert ourselves in this world through our talent or through our skill, and we find it hard for for different reasons. Whether because I was too short, I wasn't pretty enough, or I wasn't attractive enough, or I didn't have enough money, or I didn't have you know. They they said I, I had the skill, but I ain't had, it's the same story. Now how we present it, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar is saying it's because the white man. And then Drake saying, Drake not gonna say that. My mama white. I can't say that, bro. And I can't hold that man to say that at any point because he always has that barrier or that 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 knowing that my mom white. So certain things I can't talk about. And I I should See, talk about that. But he don't talk about is, though too, is because there's another biracial white rapper. Whose mom's white, who was able to get in that space. And it's also, I mean, J. Cole. Yeah. But no. So I'm just saying, and he got, J- he also can speak with J. That Cole. Too. J. Cole. And you can also is probably say a better J. rapper Cole than Drake, gets, though. I there's, agree. there's no probably to it. Out of these three, but also, Drake is but at also the now at this point in time, and J. Cole is still my favorite rapper, but I, I, Fuck, man! I just you I think can't J. Cole, see. You, you, yeah, I, I think J. Cole. I don't think you think that Kendrick three, better than J. Cole. I don't think. No, I think J. Cole's better than Kendrick. If you, if you want to be too. honest, me too. I think. 100%. Yeah. So as a rapper, yes, but I, I think like Luke, Kendrick I think Luke is called, uh, this, which is, I mean, artistry. And I when think, this nigga says hold on, he's I, Prince, I, I, think I agree called, with this nigga. I think Luke is called Rudy Gobert, nigga, though. But I, I don't want to stop you. But I'm 100 percent sure. Well, now I'm from Slovenia, bro. I'm just, I'm gonna tell you right now, they don't like us there. I feel like so he called surprised him this nigga in NBA not just fighting everybody. And he fighting the light skinned niggas too. I'm surprised he's not fighting. Well, that's probably he didn't fight Ant. I mean, he fucked with Kyrie, but I feel like he hit that shot and it was like, nigga, you can't hold me. Like, I gotta go back. Like, Kyrie be on that crazy shit me. too. He probably he probably Kyrie, they probably bond on some like, you know, some real conspiracy shit too, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, but even I then, think, so I think J. Cole better. But I don't think it's I, a head and shoulders better. I just think it's like Magic and Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Like one is better at this, one is better overall, but it's like you, you're not gonna lose whichever one you got. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna ask y'all some questions, just just, just out of curiosity. How do y'all consume music? Who? Because I think it depends. Like, how do you consume music? Like, what is what is your like? What's your routine for getting music? Getting it? I'm I'm streaming it. Or should, but should I say, should part, I say if it's a person I'm interested in that I feel like makes good music? Drake song. I listen yeah. to Drake. I listen to the first Drake person hard, shooter. Man. A shit ton, and I'll be honest with you, it wasn't for Drake though. But like Drake got song. I mean, one of my favorite songs all time is what is it? Too Jake much. Cole. Oh, Cole. Too much Jake Cole. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. You said first oh, person. Yeah. That's, that's Jake Cole. They're both on it. First person shooters. They're both on it's first Cole. person. Oh yeah, it's, Drake. On, it's on Drake's Cole album, actual right? song. No, it's on Drake's yeah, okay. album. But okay, okay, Jake okay. Cole has the verse. You know, yeah, the, the, Drake's yeah, on there talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. like I'm about to. I'm about to, you know what I'm saying? And that's just, see, CBL, <laughs> man. He, over, he about to get busted down. But I would say this, like, if it's, like, Cole releases the album, I'm I'm sitting there and I'm listening through the album. I haven't yeah. done that to a Drake album in a while. But for the most part, with most rappers, um, and most, I'd say most rappers, I feel like put effort in their, to their albums. And I think that's a big problem I have with Drake, is Drake can rap. But honestly, half these songs he gets on there and it's like, uh, all right. And it's like, nigga, I get you rich. I get you famous. I get your accomplishment. You're accomplished. One away from Mike. But holy fuck, are you not trying to get there? Because I I don't know, man. 
but I would say this, like Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers came out. I sat there and I listened to that whole fucking album straight through on the plane. And the same, the kind of same thing with most of the things it. that come out. You said what? You liked it? Did you like it? I liked it better after another list and for different reasons. Uh, you didn't uh, like it. Did what's you your, like What's it? your process drug? No, I mean, did I like it? So I don't want to go too deep in it. I want to hear Dove's process, but um, I liked it. I didn't like it sonically. I liked it for the message, but I listened to it maybe four times since it came out. That's like a year and a half ago, right? Maybe two years? Yeah, it's been two. Yeah. I listened to the whole thing four times, probably. Like, I got I a question like, for you, but Aaron, yeah, Aaron, what's your, how, how do you, uh, how do you consume music? Do you just bend it over? <laughs> Pause, man. Oh, you man. Said, I, got little, bend it over? I got a little buzz. He got them red lights going. I don't know, man. Man, he ain't no this pause, game, man. Bro. Diddy ain't here, nigga. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't get uncomfortable, niggas. We here, man. Come on, man. Aaron, tell me how you consume that music, man. Man, I don't like how you said that, bro. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I am a, I, I am a slave to, to, to artists I like. So I, I will blindly follow artists. So if an artist drops like Button, some Griselda shit, some Sauce Walker shit, like Kendrick, J Cole, even when Drake drops, I will go grab the album and go through it. Uh, I find new music from different tastemakers uh, within the industry, whether if it's Ebro, whether if it's the JBP, uh, whether if it's like some music bloggers. If I read a blog and I see a, a artist that they're, that they're saying that is, is new and exciting, I'll listen to that. If Boog tells me to go check somebody out, I'll listen to that as well. Uh, me know. But I'm more of a taker of information in my spare time than just digging through new music. So I can get you a formula, bro. I don't want a formula. I like my formula. Okay. I have. All right. Because I don't. Right, I'm let not. Me, let me ask you from what? What's your? What would you say is your favorite song off that album, though? Which one, Miss Morales? Yeah, Mr. Morale. Uh, Morale. I like the one where he awkward is. We cry together. Yeah, that was, I, I I liked I liked it conceptually. The, to me, I thought it was for hell, or it was like it was it was a, it was a piece of art more than a song. Uh. But I, I ain't like I said I I wouldn't that album was like to me I was like man um, to 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 your point I felt like he was more talented than, than that album showed and Lamar was more talented than that album showed. What do you feel like it was missing? Uh, like do you feel like because you know like it's section eighty I feel like is is really it's like a young Kendrick trying to be deeper than he probably really was at the time. Then you have Good Kid, yeah. Mad City, where you Good Kid, Mad City is better than any Drake album. Section eight. And the Drake album? No. As an album. Okay. Good Kid said okay. Mad City. As, as a, I, no, yeah, you, you, might, you, you might be right. What I'm saying is, when, I, when you're right, saying that as a cohesive album. Yeah. But as a, like what I'm saying is that Drake albums be so cold that you can take four songs, album be like, shit, that's, that's this one song can, it's, can ride through the quarter. This, I don't mean on the radio, I'm talking about the song on the album. Drake albums are, form, are formulaic. He has a couple of cuts with some R and B samples from the nineties. He has a couple of songs with some off beats. He has a couple of and you know, and he has experiments a couple of times. Like it's not and then the rest is filler, right? But I feel like it's filler be dope. But like when you go in and pull in uh like legend. Are, are you familiar are you guys familiar with the song Legend? With the uh juvenile with the uh gen with the so anxious sample. What album is that on? When I pull oh, up on so a nigga, sample. tell yeah, that yeah, nigga yeah, back, yeah. back. I'm too good with these words. Like, what's when that? He that's talking, on, uh, you hear what he's saying. Views? I think it's, no, it's that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's views. Yeah. Okay. Then it got flows. Like, when you're pulling them type of samples and you talking like that, the way he's talking, he's not trying to change the world. He's, I'm, I'm showcasing my skills. I don't know what sports you play the best, but sometimes when you're playing your sport, and you in your zone, you not just trying, you showing what I can do. If I'm playing football and I'm a running back and I get in the hole and I see a gap, I can shoot the gap real hard. Or I can show you, man, oh, man, I, I can show you what I can do. If I'm a guard and I get an ISO on the wing, I could, yeah, I could do a, a, a two-step drop and pull up. Or I can, man, let me show you what I, I can perform for the audience. And that's what Drake does with music. And that's not saying that it's better. I'm just saying that I appreciate that. Now, Kenneth Lamar can perform, but he chooses to, to, to do 50-50. He'll perform 
with the message. And I'm saying it's him just this, okay, yeah, I understand it, but let's just it's show this J. Cole shows the fuck out. Like he he a hundred percent performs and a hundred percent gives the message. And that's why I be like, shit, he the best right now because and he does it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Like I show you, I can go to, I can do it fast, I can do it slow, I can do it with the tempo. Um, I can put me with Yachty, put me with so and so, put me put me with the niggas y'all like, put the niggas y'all don't know, put me with Bottom, put me with uh Earth Earth Village, put me with I'm showing you my diversity, how I can do it. I'm displaying talent. As opposed so he's to, show, so let me I'm ask you. Come out you just mentioned all those people. He's jumping on songs. This is Cole specifically, uh, and it's showing mm -hmm. his talent, how versatile he is. Uh, mm -hmm. Versatile, yes, and being able to hop on different songs, and but in reality, like that's, I mean, yes, that's versatility. He's not getting on a fucking Yachty song and trying to start rapping like Yachty. No, and that's that, and wins. Because Drake could get I, on the song with Yachty. I said that and I paused and, for and, and, and fact because there's another nigga that does this, but I want you, we're Ooh. not going to connect the dots. I want to keep putting the dots. It's Drake, nigga. The nigga is a, the nigga is a culture vulture. He's That's a saying. fucking swag surfer. Drake, no, no. He's Drake, a swag surfer. Drake can get on. I got, see, and then Cole makes okay, inconsistent I, 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 albums, I, I, unfortunately. I'll, I'll agree so with you. So does Drake. I disagree with you. I'll agree with you. I'll agree with you. I'm saying like, so So I used to, I used to, I used to, I used to box when I was younger. I ain't box. I used to go to pay a VA and we had an the boxing, right? And so there were some dudes that when you go in their box, like he from brawl. He from brawl. Everybody come in here. Some dudes who from the counter punch, they from that counter punch, whoever come in here. That's it. Now with some dudes who was like, shit, I'm a I'm I'm a so I'm gonna fill you out and you do and I'm gonna do what you do to you better than you do. And then what's the call this one? Cause like I'm the one like, okay, damn. Okay, I want to come in here and power punch him. I, I want him to come in here and middle in the ring. I want to do. He like, okay, I'm gonna do that with you, but I'm gonna do that with you better than you to show you. I'm, I'm a kind of punch, you know, a a, a, a floor or, or Pernell Whitaker. Like, okay, you want you want like, I'm quicker than you. And I'm gonna out quick you. You win with quickness. I'm gonna out quick you. Are you, a puncher? you. You a power puncher? Oh, you 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 got four you footwork. That's the John. Sorry, rap, sorry, but I'm so talented. I can out rap you with your style. See, no, so, I, I would so, say Lil Wayne, if you were talking about Lil Wayne, 100%. Yes, yeah. nigga. Yes. That's not what That's Drake's his son, doing. bro. Drake's not out That's rapping anybody with their style. That's his son, but they're not the same because of the fact. No, he, he's not, he not as good. As good. Nah. But. I, 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 even then, okay, so going back to XX to, to X, Drake didn't do that better. Drake had a bigger audience, a wider audience. He did it. He took a hit and was like, well, I can do the same thing. Took that and then made his own hit. He didn't do it better. He just has a market that's larger. And for the, for the most part, if Drake releases anything, it's going to get clicks just in general. It's going to get, it's going to get views. It's going to get clicks no matter what. He can go on there and hit up like a Kanye thing talking about Scooby Poop. And the shit's going to, I mean, even then, Scooby even on viral Scooby nonsense, Scooby it's still going to blow up like that. But at the end of the day, though, it's not District Drake's boy. doing this better than everybody else. But if you're, if you hear something and I take it, I copy it, and then I do it, and I'm like, I'm doing it better because I get more numbers when I'm the bigger artist. That's not the case. And no one's accusing him of like all these artists mm -hmm. he does a song with, whatever. Okay, they blow up. Perfect. That's mm -hmm. helping him. But it's not mutual. And the, to pretend like it is, is not going deep enough into this. Because there's also, I mean, it's, I think there's also a layer where we don't want to hear negative things about certain things. Because I've ignored some of the stuff with this whole Kendrick thing. I think a big concern with this whole beef was the fact it was like, was Kendrick going to be able to make a hit that's going to rival Drake's whatever song Drake releases, which is going to blow up no matter what. And then he was able to. So that was more yeah. surprising. But I think I just you don't. Think, so, you, I, so you think, I, I, so you think I, I, I wouldn't say that Drake won. I, I won't say Drake won, but I don't, I don't think, think it's, it I don't was, think you could say it was a tie or less. Like if you're saying it's I think, a tie I think, I think, or Drake. No, it wasn't a tie. It wasn't a tie. It wasn't a, yeah. it wasn't a tie. Like I told Dub, I think the biggest record out of all that, out of all the back and forth, the biggest record to me was BBL Drizzy. That's the biggest record to me. 
Because that's the record that permeated across all the genres, across all. It's like that, that not only was it a, it's like having like a hit em up, bro. People who don't even like rap know hit em up. People who don't even like. You mean Not Like Us? I think Not Like Us is the biggest record out of all of it. Yeah. Not Like Us was, it was Not Like Us. That's been folks. the biggest one. Like, that's Bro, literally what everybody like us a BBL Drizzy in the one playoffs. Thing, but also, too, what's the best? I mean, who's made a song on the BBL Drizzy beat? It's just the BBL Drizzy, but Not Like Us is a song. And well, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is that people are not making songs to, to the BBL Drizzy, but people. Who don't even? Well, Drake just not did. even people. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Drake didn't make a song to it. Drake just put it in his song. It was the the, the beat changed. He hopped on it. What I'm saying is, people who are not even privy to the situation, like it, it's bigger than it's BBL Drizzy is bigger than the beef. So in I five think years, you're, paying, you're not paying attention very well, man. Everybody is going around here talking about certified lover boy, certified pedophile. A minor. Everybody is or, literally, or I've fans. heard I've heard fifty year old women saying A minor. I've seen dog. And I'm videos. sorry, that's bigger. Like, and none of them know about this BBL Drizzy no. beat that Metro Boomin made. The song by Kendrick Lamar that's got like five hundred million views or some shit. Like that, yes, that is the biggest song out of this. But also, I don't even think it's the best song or even in the top two. Because honestly, Family Matters and Euphoria were the best songs that got released out of all of this. And then 616 in LA, I think, is a a third. And Not Like Us is just the biggest banger. But Family Matters and Euphoria are the best songs that came out of this. But when it comes to what's staying, like what has staying power... Not like yeah. us, nigga. That's that's not like dance, us is, is, is TikTok dope. It's dope, you know. It's, and it's, I don't think dope. that's the it's best dope. song. It's just the catchiest one. And that that's also my point that Kendrick kind of proved. Isn't that point wild? Where Isn't that wild, the best song isn't the one that's going the most. It's just the catchiest. <laughs>